What if black holes aren't what we think they are? Enter Grabber Stars. What if lurking behind the event horizons we trust so much, there's something even stranger, a cosmic trickster known as a Grabber Star? A Grabber Star isn't just a black hole alternative. It's an idea that could rewrite everything we thought we knew about how stars die, how gravity bends reality, and maybe even how the universe protects itself from tearing apart at the seams. But before we fall too deep into this gravitational rabbit hole, a quick note, Stellar Stories is still tiny, and every like, comment, or subscription helps more than you know. It also means I can reply to every one of you, for now at least. Let's get everyone on the same page, but don't worry, I know most of you could recite this in your sleep. So here's the lightning version. A black hole is what happens when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own gravity. What you get is a region of space-time so warped that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. At the very heart sits the singularity, a point of infinite density where all our known physics break down. Surrounding that is the event horizon, the ultimate cosmic point of no return. Cross it, and you're gone forever, at least as far as we can tell. Black holes warp time, bend space, and power some of the most extreme phenomena in the universe, from quasars to gravitational waves. And yet, for all their terrifying simplicity, they come with paradoxes, places where the laws of nature seem to tear themselves apart. One of those paradoxes is exactly why physicists started thinking about gravity stars in the first place. Black holes sound straightforward. A star collapses, gravity wins, the universe gets a one-way trapdoor. But if you dig deeper, they become a nest of contradictions that keep physicists up at night. At the heart of the trouble is the singularity, that mythical point where all the mass is crushed to infinite density and space-time curves infinitely. Infinity, in physics, usually means we don't really know what's going on here. It's where general relativity, our best theory of gravity, just gives up. Then there's the infamous information paradox. If you throw matter and information into a black hole, where does it go? Hawking's famous radiation suggests black holes evaporate over time. But if the radiation carries no information, then information is lost forever something quantum mechanics says must never happen. So on one hand, relativity predicts a singularity that eats information and shreds the laws of physics. On the other, quantum mechanics demands that information is always preserved no matter what. This clash has driven physicists to dream up radical alternatives, ways the universe might avoid the messy infinity at a black hole's heart while keeping information safe. One of the boldest ideas, the Gravis Star. So what exactly is a Gravis Star? The name stands for Gravitational Vacuum Star, and it's exactly what it sounds like, a strange star-like object that swaps out the terrifying singularity and event horizon of a black hole for something far more exotic. Picture this, instead of matter collapsing endlessly inward, a Graver Star's core is a bubble of vacuum energy, a kind of dark energy with powerful negative pressure. This repulsive force stops the collapse before a singularity can form. Surrounding this bubble is a thin, ultra-dense shell of matter. The shell balances the outward push of the vacuum inside with the inward pull of gravity outside. To an observer far away, this whole structure would look almost identical to a black hole. Dark, massive, with a gravitational field so strong that light can barely escape. But unlike a black hole, there's no true event horizon, no point of no return, no singularity lurking at the center to break the rules of physics. In other words, a Grava star is like a cosmic decoy. It mimics a black hole so well that even telescopes might not tell the difference. But inside, it's a carefully balanced dance of gravity and vacuum energy that sidesteps some of the nastiest paradoxes of modern physics. So how does this cosmic masquerade actually work? Inside a Grava star, the key player is vacuum energy, the same mysterious force thought to drive the accelerating expansion of the universe. In a Grava star's core, this vacuum energy creates an enormous outward pressure, pushing against gravity's inward pull. Wrapped tightly around this vacuum bubble is an incredibly thin, dense shell of exotic matter. 
This shell is what keeps the Gravastar stable. It holds the vacuum in, resists collapse, and balances the whole structure. From the outside, the shell's gravity bends light and curves space-time almost exactly like a black hole would. If you were a distant observer, you'd see an object that bends starlight, gobbles up matter, and traps radiation so effectively that it appears pitch black. But cross that invisible boundary, what would be the event horizon in a true black hole? And instead of falling forever toward an infinite singularity, you'd encounter the dense shell and the repulsive vacuum energy within. No singularity, no infinite compression. In theory, this smooth interior avoids the paradoxes that plague black holes. No information-destroying singularity, and no breakdown of the laws of physics at an unreachable point. A gravistar is nature's clever workaround, a cosmic illusion that looks like a black hole but might behave very differently on the inside. So, why do some physicists take this idea seriously? The gravistar was first proposed in 2001 by Pavel Mazur and Emil Matola. They were wrestling with the same headaches that still trouble theorists today. Singularities where physics collapses and the thorny problem of information loss. These strange stars offer an elegant alternative. By replacing the singularity with a smooth core of vacuum energy and a thin shell, they neatly sidestep the infinite density problem. There's no need for the laws of physics to break down at a point no one can ever observe. Even better, without a true event horizon, a grava star might allow information to remain recoverable, solving the black hole information paradox in a novel way. Some researchers think this could help bridge the gap between general relativity and quantum mechanics, giving us a clearer path toward a quantum theory of gravity. Of course, it's not just about patching up paradoxes. Grava stars are fascinating because they hint at deep connections between black holes, vacuum energy, dark energy, and the very structure of space-time. In short, for some physicists, grava stars are an intellectual playground a speculative but compelling way to reimagine what happens when nature pushes gravity to its absolute limit. But like any bold idea in physics, gravistars come with their share of skepticism. First, there's the practical problem. From a distance, a gravistar behaves almost exactly like a black hole. Its gravity bends light the same way. It feeds on nearby matter the same way. Even gravitational waves from merging gravistars would look nearly identical to black hole mergers, at least with the detectors we have now. This makes it incredibly hard to test whether gravistars really exist or are just a clever mathematical curiosity. If we can't tell the difference, nature might as well stick with classic black holes. They're simpler and match decades of observation. Second, while the theory behind Grava stars is mathematically sound, it's deeply theoretical. We don't have any solid experimental evidence that the exotic vacuum energy and precise shell structure can actually form in nature, especially in the violent death throes of a massive star. Most physicists agree that black holes, messy as they are, still do a perfectly good job explaining the observations. Until we see something that a black hole can't explain, or detect a subtle signature only a grava star could produce. Grava stars remain an intriguing but unproven alternative. Grava stars aren't alone in this cosmic lineup of black hole alternatives. Over the years, physicists have dreamed up other strange possibilities, each one trying to fix the same puzzles in a slightly different way. One contender is the fuzzball, an idea from string theory that suggests what we call a black hole might actually be a tangled mess of vibrating strings with no singularity and no smooth event horizon. In this picture, the surface of a fuzzball is messy and quantum in nature. So information doesn't get trapped forever. It just bounces around and eventually leaks back out. Another idea is the dark energy star, sometimes called a quasi-black hole. Like gravistars, these objects replace the singularity with a core of repulsive dark energy, but use different physics to stabilize the structure. And there are even more radical proposals, firewalls that burn up anything approaching the event horizon, or black hole mimickers made entirely of exotic matter. While none of these ideas have dethroned the classic black hole yet, they show just how hard physicists are trying to reconcile gravity and quantum mechanics. 
and how willing they are to question our assumptions about what really lurks in the universe's darkest corners. If Gravistars, or anything like them, turn out to be real, the implications ripple far beyond just rewriting astronomy textbooks. First, they'd confirm that nature hates singularities, those mind-breaking infinities where physics loses its grip. Instead of allowing space-time to tear itself apart, the universe might prefer neat, well-behaved structures that protect its deepest rules. Second, Grava stars connect directly to the question of vacuum energy, the same mysterious force driving the expansion of the universe. If such energy can stabilize a dying star and prevent a singularity, it hints at links between black hole physics, dark energy, and even the ultimate fate of the cosmos. Finally, there's something deeply philosophical here. Gravistars remind us that the universe can hide layers of truth behind familiar masks. From far away, you'd swear it's a black hole, but step closer, in theory at least, and you'd find a reality more complex and subtle than our old equations predicted. It's a gentle cosmic nudge that says, never assume you've seen it all. So, are Gravistars real? Maybe, maybe not. Right now, they're a bold, what if? a mathematical whisper that there might be more to the dark giants haunting our universe than we ever imagined. Whether they exist or not, Gravistars push us to ask deeper questions. What happens when gravity and quantum mechanics collide? Does nature really allow infinities, or does it hide them behind elegant, unseen layers? And could these cosmic decoys be lurking in plain sight, fooling even our best telescopes? One thing's certain, the search for answers is far from over. Every new observation, every tweak to our theories, brings us one step closer to understanding whether black holes are truly the universe's ultimate secrets, or just one more mask hiding an even stranger truth. So, what do you think? Could Gravistars be out there, quietly rewriting cosmic history? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I look at every single one. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the weird edges of reality, please consider liking, subscribing, and joining me next time for more stellar stories. See you next time.